Friend of the show, Chris Harrison, guys. We're getting right at it. He hosted Volcano Live! Exclamation last night. Let me tell you something. He didn't need that exclamation point. It was kind of boring. Daredevil, Nick Walenda, tightrope walked over an active volcano in Nicaragua. The lava beneath reaching up to 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me take these goggles off. Yeah, that's beneath. Off the wire, Nick Walenda into the history books. Listen, it didn't look that scary. If you're taking off your goggles during it and looking around, wiping the sweat down, <laughs> talking the whole time, it, he's wearing less than scuba gear. It's like... <laughs> the only thing dangerous is that it's hot. I want to point out the fact he looks like a retired PE teacher, all right? <laughs> Should we throw that out? He does. This is the only way a bald guy can get on network television. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look scary. It does. It looks safe. That's like, you know the babies that they have the leash attached yeah. to? <laughs> it's like, you could go far, but you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't look scary. You can sign up for this at a resort in Costa Rica. He's got a harness. He's got... This thing they have at Dodger Stadium when they carry hot dogs, you know what I mean? <laughs> so he doesn't have to carry the stick. And then he's got all this, and then they secure this too. Where's the scary part? Yeah, I, uh, that's like if Evil Knievel was like, I'm gonna drive this motorcycle over the Grand Canyon over a million pillows! <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, they kept saying, don't look down. And yeah. he did look down a couple times and checked his phone. <laughs> he was texting. I saw him send a dick pic. Oh, he saw him during? <laughs> also, they tell you, like, oh, he walked 1,800 feet. I'm like, I don't know how much that is. Like, I'm from New York. <laughs> is that three blocks? Is it is four? It three blocks? Is, <laughs> is it the Queens? How far? Yeah, well, how long is that? He's, they kept pushing Daredevil. He's a... Uh tightrope enthusiast. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know, I have to say it, though. This is this, this white people shit. Hey, man, I wasn't going to say it. This is white I was people like, I'm not going to say it. I'll like, allow it. I mean, <laughs> like, you guys need adversity, and you're like, just go, go retire. Mm -hmm. Like, what? And, and, and walking is fine, because that's all he's doing, really. Yeah. But then, like, with heat and gas, it get... I mean, I love being here today, but if you add heat and gas, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that, huh? Yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> it's not the riskiest thing on ABC this year. The guy in The Bachelor didn't use a condom. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> is that true? <laughs> wow, what is it, like, 2020? Why did... <laughs> <laughs> you know, his dad used to do this. You know, the Wally Enda family, yeah. Walenda, and the, I saw on YouTube his dad walking between hotels for really nothing but to get exercise, because that was just what he did. And uh, even a stick was considered cheating back then. <laughs> but it was just a wire, and then he got blown off, and he died like a man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like a man! Wow. <laughs> but if he saw this, he'd be like... <laughs> but, I mean, this is a hard family to, like, be born into. Flying will not, like... How about, like, the famous hopscotchers? Or yeah, I know. <laughs> why can't one of us just go to medical school? Like, let's... That's true. I, I, knew, I knew it wasn't that hard when a guy ran out halfway to fix his microphone and ran back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on, a woman left her unhappy relationship after getting stage four cancer, and she went on because she left because she wanted to have as much sex as she can before she dies. She even has a new podcast about it. It's called Dying for Sex. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> everyone in an unhappy relationship is like, yes, that's what I want to do. I think can I just say I have cancer and leave? Uh, <laughs> no. The worst thing about this is that she has a podcast, but... Um, <laughs> it's funny. Is it, a, yeah, it's funny. is it a stage four podcast? Stage four podcast, yeah. <laughs> it's the worst kind of podcast. <laughs> yeah. I, I have a question. Yes. What if you was a hoe before the diagnosis? Uh, you're not a real hero anymore, yeah. <laughs> Either way, I'm listening to the podcast. I don't know, yeah. man. <laughs> I feel like that's, like, a not a smart decision. Like, you gonna leave someone that's stuck by your side the entire time? Like, if I was married and I had cancer, I'm not gonna leave my wife, you know what I mean? I'm a keeper, then cheat, so I can have both <laughs> words. Yeah. And then I That's because you're a good you know I'm guy. Yeah. I'm a good guy. Yeah. But, you know? but <laughs> so. wouldn't it be crazy if she didn't die from cancer, but die from an STD? <laughs> 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 like, what kills her, the cancer? <laughs> nah, <laughs> gonorrhea. <laughs> well, I think they should update the stages of death. Now it should be like, 
denial, bargaining, anal. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's on a chart, in a flow chart in a room. Yeah, it, you know, the first, the first F is a lot of pressure, but the last one's bad too. You don't want to go out on a shoulder shrugger. Oh, right? yeah. 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 Keep no, it away from me, yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Like, nothing is worse than having cancer and bad sex. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way to go out. Well, I told my wife that there's a woman who got cancer, left her husband, is now having great sex. She started chain smoking. <laughs> Come on. That feels like a thing. Oh, I no, but I, I, I'm sure she's like, no pressure. We just want to have sex. And then later she's like, hey, can you do the funeral arrangements? Oh.